Hello guys, so today we've got a fun little challenge which is the 25 times round the volcano route on Zwift. In total it is 102.2 kilometers, um, so this will be my first ever 100 kilometer ride. Uh, the setup we've got today, so we've got Zwift running on uh, the MacBook Pro, got a little light ring so that you can see me more clearly. Um, my bike is a Carrera Vanquish and then we have the Kicker Snap Bike Trainer which I have actually loaned or borrowed off of uh, my girlfriend's brother. So, good setup. We've got the food here ready as well. Uh, we will be getting some more Haribo Tang Fast Sticks later on. But, let's get into it. Right, here we go. Getting started. And we're off. So this is only going to be a steady ride. This is my... Um, Normally Saturday or Sunday long ride. Um, again, it's my first ever time doing 100 kilometers, so I thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting and do the 25 times around the volcano loop. Um, as you know, it is a challenge on Zwift to get, I think it's five, 10, and then 25 times around the volcano route in one um, journey. So unlike some of the others, like the, uh, the climb the Optus Zwift, you can do it like one at a time, whereas in this it's all going to be 25 times around in one. So I'm going to keep the pace nice and steady and try and get my heart rate below around like 145, not get much higher than that. Um, aiming for just over 30 kilometers an hour. So should bring me in for about trying to stick it under three and a half hours if I can. Um, again, that's including toilet breaks and food breaks as well if I need them. So let's carry on, let's settle into this and keep going. So just about to head through and complete the second lap. Here we go, two laps down. 23 to go. If you're wondering why it's saying 31% faster, after about a kilometer in, for the first lap, I did have to go and take a toilet break. <laughs> yeah. Obviously we're on this for three plus hours, so. But, I should have gone before I started. Already starting to sweat a little bit. And, got my sweatband on. Look a bit like uh, Johnny Lawrence from Cobra Kai. Doing me the world of good right now, stopping me sweat dripping into my eyes. Because my hair is stupidly long due to the barbers being closed here in the UK. Right. 23 laps left. Just hit 10 kilometers. So about 92 kilometers left. Let's set the back in. And keep pushing on. So we're just coming up to the end of lap number five. Um, quite far behind pace at the minute because I had to take another toilet break. A little note to self, a coffee and the Diet Coke. 20 minutes before you arrive isn't a good idea. So hopefully now we can make up for some lost time. Start pushing in. Um, 21.7 kilometers. There we are, just coming up to the there we have it, lap number five done. Under eight minutes that one, so planning on keeping the pace up for the next five laps and then dropping it back down. Got me cheap when I'm sport, so I'm making sure that I'm staying hydrated, keeping my salts in me. And then just got my normal water. Just gonna try and keep this pace nice and steady now. Again, I'm just using the standard um, Aero TT bike. That comes like your default when you start Swift, uh, Swift. Uh, no special add-ons or anything like that. And in my trainer, I have got me clipping uh, cleats, just because I do like to try and train on a trainer the same way that I would um, when I ride on the road, trying to keep it as even as possible. Same with positioning. They can go up a hill, I'm always on my seat, making sure I'm trying to like mimic pretty much road driving as close as I can. Right, 
47 minutes in, 110 meters done, 110 meters of elevation that is, let's crack back on. So 25.2 kilometers, that means we're about a quarter of the way through in 53 minutes. As I say, a little bit behind pace at the minute, so trying to up the pace as much as we can, aiming for that sub 3.30. So we're just coming up now onto the end of lap 10, ready for my hot head achievement. Here we go. 20 meters. And there we have it. My basic hip pack two. Achievements unlocked, hot head, complete 10 laps of the volcano. So we did already have the five lap one from a previous uh, interval ride. There we have 10, 10 laps done. Um, 14 and a bit to go. Right, let's carry on. Got me a uh, Harry Tank Fast Sticks now as well, which uh, Brian so kindly got me from Tesco. Or oh, Medali Bow, as we like to call them. Bravo. Just completed lap number 13. As you can see, the time was quite slow because it we went for Toilet break number three. I'm not sure what it is about long, slow rides, but uh, I think we need the toilet so much. But the uh, thing that I found so far, we're, we're a little bit over halfway now, is even though for the four kilometers it's only 20 meters of elevation, over, like, what are we on now, lap 14? But for that many laps, it, it does add up when you do start to feel that little bit of elevation in your legs. Just there. Uh, just tricks you out of nowhere, like you're not expecting a, you know, a high ride when you see 20 meters, but when you start looking at it, I think by the time we finish we'll be into like the 700s, something like that, I mean, the quick mats is right. Um, so again, just getting back comfortable in the saddle, over the halfway mark now, uh, again, way under pace because the toilet breaks, but well, Harry Bow keeping me going, I've got like these, um, let me show what they are. The all butter sweethearts. They're really nice. My mum gave me a big bag of them the other day, so got them for a little bit of morale boost, a little bit of a carb kick. And then still just sipping away at my G1M Sport, getting my, my salts back in. So from the home stretch now over halfway, let's just settle in. Dig deep and keep going. Yeah, my friend just bought me some Nutella toast. Just what I needed. So oh, these hills are getting to me now. We have it left. 19 done. Slowed a bit in the pace just because I'm gonna speed up for um the last couple. Again, it's with the hills when, even though they are only little inclines, it just breaks that. Where I've got like the steady pace going now, keeping the cadence um, nice and consistent. As soon as you hit the hills, you don't want to slow down too much, so you're up out of your seat to get the power in the legs. But there is quite a few hidden little hills on the volcano route. And I've gone around it that many times now that there's no new sights to see. It was quite cool for the first 10, getting to see the inside of the volcano, come around, all the sight sounds with the riders. But now the undercarriage is so just under 80 kilometers in. And yeah, last little bit to go now. So 
really gonna have to dig deep on this. Again, this will be my longest ride ever, training or, or on the road, so digging deep and getting it done. Let's crack on, not long left. Just decided um, for about two and a half laps left, uh, three minutes. Uh, sorry, three hours. I wish three minutes, three hours and fifteen minutes. Um, again, just been keeping the watts nice and low, just just cruising with it. But uh, my third day PB is coming up saying is um, six minutes forty nine seconds. So I decided I want to see what. I've got left after 100 kilometers, so but it'll be after 98. I'm gonna try and PB on lap number 25. See if I can set a new 30 day and what will be all time PB for myself on the volcano loop as well. So yeah, 6.49 is my 30 day PR PB. Um, so in one and a half laps, less than that now, I'm gonna uh, give it a shot. So, Still just gonna cruise at a steady here um, about two watts per kilo until then and then we're gonna burst out max the heart rate up right away at the end so guys this is it now just about to finish lap 24 onto lap 25 gonna aim for that pb 30 day pr is a uh, 649 72 tired and sore Legs are hurt and chafing, but this is where you've got to dig deep when you think you're done. Nearly 100 kilometers in now, 99.5 kilometers. This is where, when you think you're done, you've always got something left in the tank to give. Right, 6.49. Step when we go through this arch, we're taking off. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. This is lap number 25. And we're going for it. Aiming for that PR, baby. Heart rates. Not every spike hit one. Of course, it's gonna just hit 100 kilometers. And there's the achievements, 100 clicks. Go 100 kilometers in one ride. We're not done yet. Just keeping that breathing under control.
close to finish. Dig deep. which is 19 seconds, 18 seconds faster than my last one. See, at the end, you've always got something left to give. It's one of the hardest things I've done. Right guys, if you want to see more videos like this, Please leave a thumbs up. Always remember to like and subscribe and get that bell on so you get all channel notifications. Thank you very much for watching. Peace, love, and PMA, and we'll see you in the next one.